What's up, good people? How y'all doing? It's me again, Pastor Jacob, and um, I'm like the biblical first responder here, I guess. So what I would love for you to do is to please like, subscribe, share this video with your friends on social media everywhere. Um, put your comments down. All of that stuff helps this channel to grow. So please do that for me. Um, okay, so in this video, I want to kind of talk about what's going on with the modern church. Now, in this particular video, I want to show you uh, the grand opening of a church called Temple in Chicago. And I use the word church loosely, very, very, very loosely. But let's talk about the church. Y'all, if y'all could see how crazy this is, like, I feel like I'm at like Google or something, like the headquarters of Google. You know, I don't feel, I don't feel churchy yet. They were playing Jill Scott a few seconds ago. So that kind of tells you the level of holiness that we're dealing with. First of all, this live stream had a pre-show. So this service had a pre-show, which is okay. But let's look at this young lady that had to host it. She's a singer. Uh, look at how she's dressed for church. About that. Where the deacons at? Y'all got some deacons? New life. Where the deacons at? I need all deacons. I need the elders. You know what I'm saying? I've been starving for a reason. I need y'all to come through. You, the way I'm looking, I'm looking how I'm looking, the way things are set up. Yeah, I need to go to Ruth Chris. Go downtown somewhere. Okay. Okay, so you see how she's dressed in a skin-tight catsuit for church. Um, she's talking like the world, doing all the world gestures and, and just being worldly. And this is not to be judgmental of her because she's trying to entertain. And that would be fine if this was a TV show. That would be fine if this was the BET Awards or, you know, some kind of award show. This is church. This is church, ladies and gentlemen. This is what we are supposed to believe is the church of Jesus Christ today. This is a show. This isn't church. Like I said, if it was an award show or something like that, the Dove Awards or the, the BET Gospel Awards or whatever you want to call it, Sunday's Best, I wouldn't say a word. But this is supposed to be church. So then we absolutely do have a right to judge this because it's horribly wrong. Now, I want to show another clip here from this church, Temple Church in Chicago, where they have young ladies. Some of them look like children, I guess. I don't know how old these people are, but they're praise dancing, I assume. They're doing some kind of dance performance to Beyonce, to back that thing up by Juvenile. I think I heard Sean Paul in there. Duddy Wine or whatever. What is going on? Let's go get on. Drop it. This is the church. Is this what the church has come to? This is it? Ladies and gentlemen, we must understand that this is not holy, for one. Holiness is to be set apart, to not be like the world, to be set apart, sacred, and for God's purpose only. That's what the church is supposed to be. Yet everything we have seen here is something to say, hello world. We're just like you. And the Bible says, if the salt loses its flavor, it's useless. If you take the light and, and, and cover it up, nobody gets to see the light. Nobody's helped by it. So it's useless. 
So are we going to be a useless church? Or are we going to say, hey, somebody has to hold up the standard. Somebody has to say, no, that's enough. Somebody has to call these people out and say, you are not the church. You are absolutely not the church. And those who are in that place, because it's not a church, but those who are in that gathering of people, they need to, if they love God, if they truly love Jesus and they are looking for a relationship with Jesus Christ, then they need to come out of that place. They need to come out. Come out from among them or you will burn with them. That is not the church. And we got to hold up the standard. We can't just let anything go in the church and say, oh, well, this is a new generation. No, it might be a new generation, but it's the same God. And he don't want that crap. 